Chris Olds, Becky Baseball here. Just got back from the Target store, and that means a stop at the card aisle because, well, that's what I do. <clears throat> the uh, one thing that caught my attention, actually two things caught my attention, but there'll be two different videos. A uh, new offering, a new thing we haven't seen yet before from Panini America, and this is a, uh, I guess you call it a jumbo pack. This is a 2013 Panini Prism bonus jumbo pack, which... If you know other brands, they've been doing this for a while now. This is three regular cards inside a pack with a bonus pack of exclusive cards. And uh, 15 total cards. What caught my attention was the fact that they are red pulsar prisms. And actually what also caught my attention is you can actually see the back card number on the back. So if you want to find Nick Swisher, just look up his card number on eBay and find it for me. That's your red uh, bonus pack right there. So I figured I'd rip into it here. This is 10 bucks for three packs, which are regularly $2.99, plus the bonus. So here's what the red pulsars look like with the wrapper on. Three packs. I'll go ahead and open the reds first. <clears throat> pulsar. Red pulsar prisms. Oh yeah. I don't think it does it justice because it's it's a, it's a pulsaring effect. I'm not doing it any justice at all, but down there by the leg, you can sort of see what it's supposed to do. So Justin Verlander, Chase Headley, and rookie Kyle Gibson are my bonus cards. Now, these are three packs with the extra pack for 10 bucks. Interestingly, the Blaster boxes, which have, I think, seven packs, also have a pack of three. You don't get more. You get the same number. So if you want more regular packs, you can buy blasters and get a little bit more. I think one extra pack. Or if you want more of these, you can buy two of these for the price of a blaster and get twice as many reds. Just a thought. So depends what you're looking for. The reds could be a little bit tougher, obviously, if they're Target retail only, which they are. Who knows? Maybe they'll be hotter down the road than the regular prisms. Strasburg. Dat Dude BP from the Twitter land. Brandon Phillips. Scott Rice. Jay Bruce. That was pack one. Keeping it quick here. Pack two. We already did our uh, box busters on this one uh, previously. So you'll see a hobby box. If you go poking around, you'll find some hobby boxes ripped. Mike Zunino rookie card. Brian or Sean Doolittle rookie card. <clears throat> a Yadier Molina card. And I believe this shade is also a. Uh, I believe this to be a, re a retail only uh, inclusion as well. This is a green prism. I didn't pull any of these last time around because I didn't actually find any retail packs. But a green prism, superstar spotlight, Miguel Cabrera. Not a bad card there. So that's four uh, prism cards in one $10 pack. Let's see if I can go for more than that. Final pack. I have a red. So the regular packs also have reds in them. And... I think those are Target exclusives. Jordan Zimmerman, red, but they're also not the Pulsar red. There is a difference. Wei Chin Yet Chen, or Wei Yin Chen. Joe Carter. Michael Morse. So that's it. That was a $10 pack. One green, one uh, red, and three atomic Pulsars, or whatever they called them. Bonus refract, bonus prisms. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below of the uh, on Beckett.com News. Like, let us let me know in the comments below on Beckett.com News uh, what you think about uh, retail exclusives. I'll uh, set up a poll down here too, so you can click chime in and tell us what you think. That was a ten dollar pack of 2013 Panini Prism with some Target exclusives. Till next time, Chris Olds, Beckett Baseball. Just keep ripping.